Hi, my name is Kason Jones, and I'm a current student at Purdue University studying construction, engineering, and management. I'm here to talk to you about the experience I had with my sponsor company during the summer of 2018. I was working for the Camping and Education Foundation up in northern Minnesota. And some of you might be wondering, what was I doing all summer to make this internship worthwhile? To understand this, first I'll have to tell you a little bit about the camp. It began back in 1925 and was located on an island with about 400 acres of forest and 40 more of clearings made for the camp. The foundation asked me to discover a way to map the island, the buildings, and eventually the utility lines because the maps they had were old, outdated, and only showed a few of the buildings, most of which had been torn down already. One of the most important aspects of this project was its ease of updating when new buildings and utilities had been added. As their name suggests, this company focuses on outdoor education, so while they can all read maps, there wasn't really a selection of sources to assist me in the making of one. I had already ruled out ground surveying for data collection, because there was only one of me, which left two options, aerial photography with a plane or with a drone. I spoke with one of my former professors on possible routes I could take to get this job done successfully, and he helped me think through the process of each option. In the end, I recommended that we use a drone built by DJI to map the areas because it can pilot itself with GPS and sensors. The images it would take could then be converted into a multitude of different maps and their charts suited for our specific needs. Once these images are flattened and put into a global reference frame, the addition of new buildings is quite simple. Just use another building which is already referenced and then measure its location from there. Now that you have an idea to work with I was doing over the summer, I would like to talk about what it was like being asked to do this project. At first, I was nervous that one of my classes on GIS or graphical information systems wouldn't be enough to help me complete this project, let alone lead it. That is why I spent a lot of my free time doing research on the methods and learning as much as I could about aerial photography. There were still some unforeseen difficulties, though, I encountered during the planning phase. The most difficult part of the project was planning the elevation of the drone for the different levels of accuracy I needed, but as well ensuring that the drone would not crash into the trees of varying heights around the island. At the end, I discovered it would also be possible to get data on foliage health and determine where dead trees may be, which was pretty fun because a fire hazard on the island is very hard to get people away from. And that was, you know, all the information I had planned to cover in this video. Uh, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. If you guys have any questions, you can email me at jone1412 at purdue.edu. Thank you.